Okay, so we're on the design page here. We're going to uh, talk about this slide out option here, the gears option. So when you click on the the gears on the right hand side, this opens up to a whole selection here that, of changes that you can make that are pretty much global changes to the closet. Because we're on the view page and we're not on an individual wall, any changes you make here are going to affect the entire closet. So right now we have white as our option on this closet as the color. The price is $22.25. I can go ahead and change that, let's say, to chocolate pear. And by clicking on chocolate pear, what it's going to do is change the color of every single part of this closet. Redraw it for us. And as we see, it's coming up here in chocolate pear. And the price has gone from 2200 something to 2500 something. And you can see the entire thing has changed to a darker color. You can also change your hardware. So right now we're in round nickel, but we can change whatever to whatever hardware we want, whether we want to change the finish or, or the style. This option here is pretty powerful. This is changing the orientation of the closet. So right now we're in a floor standing closet, which is 2592. If we click the wall button, what that's going to do is go through the closet and any unit that has a matching wall hung unit will flip to wall hung. So in this case, all these units are going to go and become wall hung units. The price has gone down to 2094 and as you can see from the pictures here, the entire closet has become a wall and closet. That's very handy when you're trying to do, uh, if, you, if you have a customer that wants pricing for both a floor based system and a wall hung system, you can make the floor based system, you can clone it, go here, click one button, and you have now two different designs with two different prices. Other options here, we have panel types if you offer radius panels. These right now are straight panels. If we click on radius, what it's going to do is take any of these short panels and make them into a radius panel. And so the price will go up a little bit because of that. And usually there's an extra charge for that. And you can see that these, uh, these short panels have become radius panels, which I can show you when I go in there later. Other options on the right hand side is whether you want to add crown molding or base molding. And it's as simple as clicking the button. So if I click the crown molding button, you'll see that crown molding is now going to be applied to the entire closet. You don't have to draw it yourself. Uh, you really don't have to do anything. You just pick the button for crown, and it's going to go ahead and place crown in the entire closet. And as you can see, it's gone ahead, gone ahead and placed crown in this closet. The other options you have here, of course, base molding, which wouldn't really affect the wool hung closet. Uh, you also have backing. Uh, if, you're, if your uh, administrator allows backing to happen, you can add backing. When you're adding backing, you can exclude behind drawers or exclude behind doors. Uh, in some cases, a lot of designers would rather not put backing behind drawers, so you can just click to exclude drawers, and the backing will be placed uh, on all the units and will not be placed behind door drawers. Here you have a selection whether it's overlay or inset. If, you're, if your administrator allows you to do inset doors, you can switch your door style. And finally, this bottom one is um, a way for you to completely clear out a closet. So if you click Remove All uh, and hit OK, what will happen is all the, all the units will, will be taken off the wall. So if you really want to start from scratch, you can just click Remove All, and it will remove everything. If you say Remove Units Only, that's going to remove everything. I'm not going to do it. It's going to remove everything except for the filler spaces. So it will leave, it will leave these filler and these bridge shelves, but it will remove all the units in between. And then finally, there's an option for a bedroom one, which was really used to, it's kind of the prefill option. So you could repopulate this entire closet by clicking uh, bedroom one and making that selection and every, everything will be replaced with uh, standard units, which are like double hangs, uh, seven shelf units, things like that.